I've heard a lot of good things about a sub shop called Jersey Mike Subs from the United States of America. And fortunately, there are two locations here in Ontario, Canada. So today we'll be traveling an hour and a half from my town to the fine city of Kitchener, Waterloo to find out what the most ordered subs at Jersey Mike's are. So if you're hungry, I strongly suggest you grab something to eat, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Mini regular giant. <gasps> Whoa, cheese pull. Jersey Mike's, where have you been all my life? Wow, nice and sweet, delicious. We have finally made it to Jersey Mike's Subs in Kitchener, Waterloo, which is about an hour and a half from my house. A lot of you guys really, really said that Jersey Mike's has the best subs around. Uh, so I came all the way out here just to see if you guys are right. I love subs. So let's go in there, grab something. I don't know what, apparently the brownies are amazing but we'll grab a sub, come back here, eat it with you, and see if it's any good. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Hello. How you doing? What is the the most ordered sub at? Uh, this is my first time at a Jersey Mike's. The Italian subs the most popular. What's the most popular hot sub? The steaks. The fifty six is the big Kahuna cheese steak. So I'll do a regular baked kahuna and the original Italian and I'll do that regular as well. So 56 comes with the grilled onion, green burger, cheese and steak, is it good? Perfect. With mushroom the, and ham. Yeah, the way people like it. <laughs> what, uh, which is the... There's a roasted parmesan. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. That, ro parmesan, roasted parmesan, is that what yeah, you said? Yeah. Parmesan cheese and uh, rosemary. Herb. Oh, rosemary. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll do. Uh, I think I think that would be good on the Italian, right? And then we'll do the the white on the big Kahuna, please. What would you recommend? Uh, I usually get chipotle with it, like but like a lot doesn't want anything on it. Just like that. Uh, I'm gonna take your recommendation to do Chipotle, please. Thank you. Can I get a name, please? Uh, Ken. And apparently their brownies are amazing, you guys said. Look at all that bacon. Piles of bacon. Oh, nice. So they grab it from here, put it on fresh. Or every... Every sandwich gets freshly cut. Nice. <laughs> that is a ton of food. Holy cow. So Italian, we recommend our some spikes to it. That'll be onion, lettuce, tomato, without signature dressing. Perfect. Holy splash. Is it like a vinaigrette or something? Wow, holy cow. I don't think so, I think it's perfect. Can you cut that in half? Gotta take half home. Perfect. Oh, the other one's being made over there. <laughs> Mini, regular, giant. So what size, what bread? Apparently you guys do good brownies. The cookies are just as good? Okay. That's a big cookie. So 
the thirty nine before. Okay, uh, Visa. I can add tip to that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do twenty percent. You guys are worth it. Perfect. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car. Super friendly people working at this Jersey Mike's. Let's get out our trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? A little bit of a voice crack there. So, like people did say when I was coming here, great subs, but very expensive. But did you see how much meat that they were just shaving off? And he kept going into the fridge. I thought, okay, that's it. Nope, he went back to the fridge, got more meat, shaved off more meat, then shaved off more meat. I'll put a list of all the different meats that they put on these things. So the regular 56, which I think uh, was the hot sub, and that was 1115, and the big kahuna. And then the regular number 13 is 1055. The cookie was a, uh, $2.99. The drink was $2.69, and the total without tip was $30.94. I thought I'd tip them because they were super friendly. He put a lot of effort and time into helping me out. So I had to do two different subs. I'm not sure the next time I'm gonna be back here. Now look at that cookie. That is going to be delish, people. Delicious, I'm so mad that they don't have the brownies. Because I would say most people, when they talked about Jersey Mike's, they said which sub they liked, and you had to have a brownie. So, nobody, let's put the cold sub over here for a second. Oh my goodness, people! Woo! That looks beautiful. All right, guys, going in for the big kahuna close up. Don't mind my shadow, that's just gonna have to be the way it is. Look at all that meat veggies look at this bun oh boy this isn't the this isn't the uh, the cheesy Parmesan thing this was just the regular white bread it looks beautiful it smells like a bakery in here right now let's just pop that lid off if we can <gasps> whoa cheese pull oh yeah baby that looks beautiful look at the mushrooms in there onions cheese oh it looks like a cave Holy Empire Strikes Back, that cave where Luke almost died from the monster. That's what that looked like. Okay, let's get into this thing. All right, see if we can pick this up. Oh, that's so good they don't cut it all the way through so the stuff doesn't fall out. It's like a nice envelope. Oh, that sauce smells so good. I guess that's the Chipotle sauce. Cheers, guys. Thanks for asking me to come here. Mmm. Super fresh, soft bread. Woo! The Chipotle, man. It's got a kick to it. I just realized I forgot napkins. I, I cleaned my hands when I got in the car, but I forgot to grab napkins when I was in there. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That is phenomenal. Wow. Is it all in my face? Of course it is. Let's go in for another little close up for you guys. It is like thick and rich sauces, and the meat is nice and savory, and the mushrooms and the green peppers and the onions, they're all like just mixing together and making this sub super phenomenal. Wow. So, apparently this is the number one hot sub in his opinion. And at the moment, the fact that this is the only sub, and this is the first sub I've ever eaten at Jersey Mike's, I can see why it's the number one sub on their, on their menu, on their hot menu anyway. Hmm. Mmm. Wow. This is a close location to my house in, in Kitchener, Waterloo. And then there's one in London, Ontario. So people that live in London, Ontario and Kitchener, Waterloo, you guys are so lucky. Whoa, it's leaking. 
Oh my gosh, it's so good. Please leave a comment in the comment section below if you've tried the, the, the Kahuna, the big Kahuna number 56. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Because that is phenomenal, man. I'm so glad I drove out here today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's almost like they mixed chipotle sauce and Hellman's mayonnaise together to make that nice, thick, rich, creamy sauce with that meat. Phenomenal. Mm. I was gonna stop eating and move on to the other side, but I can't because I am in full eat mode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's actually got a bit of sweet to it. Oh, the, the jalapenos are starting to kick in. Woo! So the um, the chipotle plus the jalapenos, unbelievable. Mm. I'm going to have to make that my last bite. It's a big bite. It's all about the bread, people, and the sauces, the freshness of the meats and stuff. But when you have a nice fresh bun like that, baguette, sub bun, it's phenomenal. Mm. <laughs> Woo! Time to crack open our Pepsi. I wanted to have a sip earlier, but like I said, I could not stop eating it. Cheers, people. Those of you who've eaten at, who've had the privilege of eating at Jersey Mike's, oh my gosh, what would be your favorite beverage of choice to eat with the Big Kahuna or the Italian sub? Wow, my mouth is just tingling with the flavors and the hot spiciness. Oh, Jersey Mike's, guys, you make a phenomenal sub. Holy cow. That's, I think the price, somebody said the price is expensive, but I, but for what I'm getting, excuse me, that's how good it was. But for the quality of food that you're getting, how can you go cheap? You know what I mean? You can't, you can't make cheap. You can't not charge people for good quality food. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. All right, once again, the extreme close-up. Check out this bun, this roll, this baguette, whatever you want to call it. You can see the cheese, the crispy toasted cheese on top with that rosemary, and I believe he said Parmesan cheese, but it looks like uh, little shreds of mozzarella toasted on top. All right, let's take off this lid. As you saw how many layers of meat he just kept stacking on and would not stop. I'm like, dude, what are you trying to build here? And then when he soaked it, just saturated it with those two different vinaigrettes. Let's try and flip this one over here. Oh, there we go. There is a close up. Wow. Look how many different kinds of meat and cheese did they put on there? Holy jumping. If we can get that, oh, look at that provolone. <gasps> That's one of my favorite cheeses on a sub, is that provolone. And look at all that other juicy meat, lettuce, and then tomato is on the other side. All right, let's put this back together and start eating. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Holy smokes. Mmm. Did you hear the crunchiness of that bun? Mm. The sauce, man. The two vinaigrette things they put on there are just lighting up the sub. Got to do another bite. I'm liking that. Uh, it's like a salami or something. Are you kidding? Did 
Jersey Mike's. Where have you been all my life? Wow. Am I excited? Yes. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. The fresh tomatoes and the lettuce are giving it a nice crispiness, plus the crunchiness of that bread. I'm bringing the other half home to my wife so she can experience this Jersey Mike's phenomenon. It is very, very good. She must have heard us because she just texted me. When are you coming home with my half sub? Soon, honey. Last bite of this beautiful sub. Cheers, guys. <laughs> mm. I'm going to wrap this up. And bring it home to the wife. Get some brownie points. Speaking of brownie points, they didn't have brownies, unfortunately. But they do have this Jersey Mike chocolate chip cookie, and it is quite thick. It is quite heavy. Individually wrapped with saran. Oh boy. Yeah. Chocolate chip cookies are my favorite cookies. Check out the chunks of chocolate goodness and that nice toasted cookie outer crust oh my god i thought there were nuts maybe possibly in there but it doesn't look like it it just looked like a, an extra crispy spot yeah let's move around this side yep this is going down the hatch immediately are you guys ready let's do it hey jersey mike's thanks for mm. hey jersey mike subs thanks for the awesome subs now let's try your cookie oh it smells like a bakery again mmm Super soft. Check this out. Oh yeah, bend. Like Superman bending steel. Wow. Nice and sweet. Delicious. Oh yeah. A little bite of heaven. That's a really good recipe. I'm so disappointed that there was no brownies. I guess I'm gonna have to come back. That is a wonderful cookie. I'm gonna have to go in and buy another one and bring it home. Definitely on the pricey side for $3, but definitely worth it once in a while to have a phenomenal chunky chocolate chip cookie like this. You can taste that brown sugar eating away at my teeth, adding to the fat around my belly. That is a wonderful thing. <laughs> it's almost too sweet. I'm gonna save that the rest of that cookie. I just can't do it. <laughs> it is so sweet. I'm gonna have to save this for when I get home after my dinner tonight. I like to have something nice and sweet after dinner and uh, that cookie will have to be my, my little piece of dessert. I just can't do it right now. All right, guys. Next time you are driving past a Jersey Mike's, hit the brakes turn on your indicator, make a left or make a right, get in there, grab yourself a big kahuna because that was phenomenal. If you want a hot sub, if you want the cold sub, definitely check out that Italian sub with that, um, I can't remember which, this is called the Italian sub bread. I can't remember which one it was called, but that was phenomenal, especially because it was nice and crispy, toasty on the top. Loved every single bite that I had here. And of course, try that cookie, maybe cut it in half, have one half with your lunch, take the other half home just like I'm doing but right now I'm gonna go in there grab another cookie and maybe another sub to take home to the wife to try another thing on the menu all right guys if you love these videos of me traveling around Ontario hopefully one day when the border opens I'll be dipping down into the States and trying other things that we don't get here in Canada but again thanks uh, Jersey Mike's for opening up at least these two locations hopefully you hit Toronto as soon as possible because I think you do well there as well so if you love these videos and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you hit it with a thumbs up ding 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 but if you're hungry for more check out this wicked playlist right over here and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.